Well, if you're allowed to your opinion, and you are, because I, unlike Harry and Meghan and this guy, believe in free speech, here's my opinion, as I am allowed to express, despite what you three and Omid <laughs> try to stop. You're full of shit, and you work for the two out in Montecito. That's my opinion. They're probably paying you. I think you're chasing fame and clout, and I think you're all terrible people. I think you're doing this on purpose to try to hurt Catherine, especially while she's down, because I think Megan is threatened by her. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. Sit down. Pour yourself a cup of tea. Let's have a conversation. Oh, I do not like talking about this one. I shall not say his name. I shall call him Bozo because I think that is more appropriate and fits this situation. Let's talk about Bozo. Not for the reasons he wants us to talk about him. And yes, he does want us to talk about him. He's as attention hungry as the California duo. Let's see. What am I calling them? I was calling them Sue and Smug, but I heard you loud and clear. Some people are like, don't call them Sue. Um, how about lawsuit and smug? Is that better? Suit? Suit and smug? Maybe? I don't know. I'm kicking it around still. I still like Hank and Skank. Shall we stick with Hank and Skank? That's fine. Let's get back to Bozo here because he's in the news a lot. And while I don't want to talk about him, I want to talk about this. Um, shocker of all shockers... He is friends with Harry and Meghan. He's, we know this. He was in the documentary, the faux documentary, the Netflix show. Um, you can read a million tweets along the lines of this one. I'm sharing this one by Mozart that kind of sums up how I feel about him. So let me explain my backstory. I have been, I've been at this a long time. I covered the Johnny Depp stuff and I definitely got to know his name then. I'm a huge fan of Nate the Lawyer. I haven't checked on his channel in a while, but from what I understood, he got into a tussle with, with Bozo as well. So I definitely want to look more into that. But Bozo has long been known as somebody, uh, just an awful person, just like Harry and Meghan, for the same awful things. The baiting, the ist words being thrown around with no merit, the looking for a fight with people, looking for attention from people. Um, allegedly being paid to harass people, things that we've seen and known the other two of doing while trying to shut down free speech on the people that disagree with him. Again, where have we heard this from? Oh, I know, Hank and Skank. That's their favorite thing to do. And I'm going to show you the article. I'm going to quit showing you pictures of Bozo, but it, I don't love to go to this direction, but Bozo had the nerve to talk about William, Prince of Wales, looks. Just keep that in your mind and look at this picture and think about that. Oh, think about that. <laughs> the nerve of this one <laughs> to call out anybody else's anything, but especially looks. Oh, but the the craziness doesn't end there. Um, come on, let's have real talk. He's known to lead these bot armies, right? And to harass people. And he blocked me before I even knew who he was. So anybody that's anti Harry and Meghan, he is targeting, in my opinion. We've seen it time and time again. And yet he's the one that cries foul. And it's like, I'm here to stop misinformation. No, you're not. You're here to take payments and to, I, to spread misinformation, to target people, to harass, to do all the things that Megan herself has become known for. But uh, let's take a look at this article from Daily Mail. It says the most toxic Catherine, Princess of Wales, troll of all, Christopher Boozy, one of the only times you'll hear me say his name, Bozo, built a career on fighting, quote, online hate of Megan and Amber Heard. Okay, so just let that sink in. Again, it's the unending hypocr the bucket load of hypocrisy that comes from Harry and Meghan's camp and this person, Bozo himself, trying to say he's going to stop online hate, even though it's been traced back to him. Jeez. All right. So uh, where do we go? So why, even after the Princess of Wales cancer diagnosis, are his relentless slurs and compare sorry conspiracies about her fair game good question daily mail good question all right so they're calling him a tech entrepreneur that's generous bozo launched his software tool i'm not even going to say the name in 2018 to quote 
help people identify inauthentic social media accounts and toxic trolls. That's interesting because isn't that what we use to describe the followers of the dastardly duo? I've been calling them the sadistic squad because I think that fits, but I've heard others, sewer squad, Sussex, no, suck squad, uh, <laughs> scam squad, you name it. They all apply. <sighs> in case he's still on the hunt for the ladder, he might want to look in the mirror. Sorry, I'm not yelling at you guys. I just get so passionate about this because I, this guy really is the lowest of the low. Let's just have a conversation for a second while we're talking about this. We're going to get to some of his very low moments. And, and it's hard to pick because he stays in the gutter with these two. But I just, just, let's take this at face value. They pretend like he's not working for them. Yeah, right. But let's just, let's just pretend like he's not. He's just a friend, I guess, that they had in the Netflix documentary, right? Is that what he's claiming? Trying to stop misinformation. Again, look in the mirror there, buddy. Uh, so let's just take that at face value. I don't believe it, but let's just pretend like that's the case. Okay, fine. So he's just a friend of yours. What does that say about Harry and Matt? Nope, I don't say their names anymore. What, do, what am I calling them? S lawsuit and smug. That <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Hank and Skank. What, are, what does it say about Hank and Skank that their friends are saying these horrible things about William and Catherine? No, I'm sorry. Even more important, what does it say about Hank and Skank that they're not doing anything about their friend, Bozo, over here saying these horrible things. They're just okay with it. They're just fine with it. They kept on like, oh, leave us alone. We want privacy. Oh, stop attacking. And yet here they are. They've never been the victim of anything. They're just the victims of their own mind. And yet here they are. And, and what was that stupid ass quote that they put out? They have a million of them, but something like, uh, silence is complicit. I don't know. Who cares? Some word salad like that. Well, wouldn't that apply here too? Oh, I know where else it applies. The African park situation. Still no word on that. All right. In the interests of his company's online plea for financial donations to quote, help us combat online harassment and disinformation, his own recent social media outpourings over the dark conspiracy swirling around the royal family certainly count as disinformation. Ding, ding, ding. Exactly what I said. These two, talking about Hank and Skank, are the most hypocritical people in the whole wide world. And, oh, hey, look at that. The people they surround themselves with, also hypocritical. Let's keep going. This is the same woman that he once said on X, formerly Twitter, was aging as fast as a banana talking about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and married a man who looks like a balding Muppet. That's what Boozy, sorry, Bozo, said about William and Catherine. I'm sorry, let, I'm sorry, what? Do you really want to play this game? Do you really want to go after somebody's looked? Have you looked in the mirror? Have you seen that face? <laughs> With this bullshit. All right, continuing on. But seriously, though, just at face value, obviously, I think they're all complicit with each other, talking about Hank Skank and Bozo over there. But even at face value, let's pretend like they're not working together for a second. This asshole saying this about Idiot's brother and his sister-in-law and Idiot's just fine with it, just totally fine being friends with this guy and not shutting him down. All right, again, tells me everything I need to know about Hank and Skank. Indeed, there's a deep irony in the fact that the notoriously combative Boozy is a self-proclaimed expert on social media monitoring and the evils of online misbehavior. In fact, one might wonder whether the appearing on the those two infamous 2022 Netflix faux documentary to complain that Meghan Markle was the target of hatred he might now be suffering from a serious case of double standards when it comes to the Princess of Wales. And therein lies the problem with these two. They latch on to everybody else's thing and try to make it their own, especially the one on the left. The one on the right, I don't think he can think his way out of a wet paper bag, but the one on the left is calculated. So I think she knows. I mean, it's well known the struggles that Catherine went through with the press and everything she dealt with when she and William were dating 
And so I've done a video on this. You can go back and watch it. How this one still, this one's calling the paparazzi on herself because nobody gives a shit about her. So instead, she tries to take on what Catherine actually went through and make it her thing. Kind of the same thing happening again. Catherine's actually dealing with online trolling and this horrible stuff going around. I'm sure Megan will try to find, sorry, I don't say her name. Skank of Hank and Skank will <laughs> try to find a way to make this about herself. Oh, they were after me too. Oh no, I'm a victim. Feel sorry for me. So Bodis, sorry, Bozo's latest company, I won't even say the name here, has been backpedaling desperately in the recent days following Catherine's cancer announcement. Backpedaling, but not apologizing. I don't even know if he's been backpedaling. I'm still seeing crap spewing out and still see the onslaught of trolls i have i'm gonna do a whole thing with the sidley twins on this um and uh kind of connect some dots there but yeah it's interesting huh the 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 one that claims to to stop misinformation seems to be sure spreading a lot of it around celebrities and commenters ranging from actress blake lively to guardian columnist owen jones who mocked the princess in the days before her announcement have done the right thing and issued apologies, but not Bozo. He insists he has nothing to apologize for because he's basically another form of Meghan Markle. He claims he hasn't done anything wrong. Of course not. They only make themselves victims. They're awful people. This is what they do. Bozo believes he's doing us all a service. Oh yeah? What service would that be? Uncovering a devious establishment conspiracy. Huh. So wait, you're telling me conspiracy tied with Bozo. Conspiracies being spread around. And yet he says he wants to stop misinformation. Okay. Can't make that make sense, can you? He alleges he's been, let's see, has been cooked up by the palace and the media to conceal the fact that Catherine hasn't been seen in public for months. What an idiot. In a long social media message on Sunday, Bozo said he knows what it's like to watch a loved one battling with cancer, having seen his mother succumb to the disease during COVID. I don't even want to read his quote. He's trying to make himself a victim and tie this back to himself. This is the classic Hank and Skank, especially Skank move. In his righteous indignation at the those two's two greatest enemies, he must have forgotten that in the hours after Catherine's cancer announcement, he wrote that Prince William threw his wife under the bus and failed to give her moral support. So again, the one that's pretending to stop online, what, what was it? Hate campaign? Whatever he said. I don't care. Those campaigns is out there spreading it around. For the record, he believes all the recent photos and videos of the princess, apart from the cancer announcement, have been faked for nefarious reasons that aren't quite clear because nobody can explain them. I've seen the comments. They don't make any sense. These people should be wearing tinfoil hats. His current fixation, which he tweets about incessantly, sounds right, appears to be the footage from early last week of William and Catherine outside a farm shop in Windsor. So they want us to shut up about Harry and Meghan, but they're not afraid to keep going on and on and on about Catherine. Again, the hypocrisy. Anybody a fan? Like all crazed conspiracists, there is no convincing boozy. Sorry, bozo of the footage. I don't care if he's convinced or not. He's an idiot. I really don't care what he thinks. I do care about calling out his horribleness. So he goes, goes on to say that the visit to the farm was staged and the person in the video wasn't Catherine. Well, if you're allowed to your opinion, and you are, because I, unlike Harry and Meghan and this guy, believe in free speech, here's my opinion, as I am allowed to express, despite what you three and Omid <laughs> try to stop. You're full of shit, and you work for the two out in Montecito. That's my opinion. They're probably paying you. Uh, I think you're chasing fame and clout, and I think you're all terrible people. I think you're doing this on purpose to try to hurt Catherine, especially while she's down, because I think Megan is threatened by her. That's right. She's threatened because she will never be her, and people will never 
never care about her the same way we care about Catherine, Princess of Wales. Then the idiot Bozo is saying that the farm walk was staged. Again, assuming you and Harry and... Nope, again, I keep calling them that. Assuming Lawsuit and Smug are friends with Bozo, he would know all about stage photos because that's all that uh, Smug likes to do. Nobody's actually interested in her. It's more about, hmm, let me call out the paparazzi and pretend like I'm doing some things. I'm very busy and important. Then I love the author of this article because they call them all like-minded crackpots. That's a great way to describe them. And they go into people suggesting that that video was AI generated. Don't worry, I'm working on a video on that. We'll probably go into it with the Sidley twins. I have gotten some of the most batshit crazy comments that I've gotten. And that's saying something because you know the sugars like to come at me. But <laughs> I have. I've gotten some crazy comments alleging exactly that, that it's AI generated. So we'll be talking about that in a separate video. But they don't have anything like Bozo's reach. He has nearly, who cares? It's n still nothing. 358,000 followers. I mean, uh, okay. All right. I'm not going to do this contest with him, but um, <laughs> let's see here. Do they have his name recognized? I don't care. Uh, Bozo is, of course, entitled to spout whatever torturously constructed hypothesis he likes, even if his endless capacity to contradict himself would make the most head swivel, sorry, most swiveled eyed conspiracy theorist blush. But his simultaneous claims of empathy for Princess of Wales, even as he continues to unkindly portray her some sort of hapless puppet of sinister forces are starting to wear a lip starting. I think it's been been for a while. Bozo's a man who's built a career on rel being relentlessly controversial, frequently posting online about the latest hot button issues, trying anything he can to gain fame or notoriety. Again, where have we heard this before? Oh, I know Hank and Skank. That's their favorite thing to do, too. All right, so it continues on for here, but I'm going to go ahead and end it because I just can't. I can't deal with any of those people. <laughs> That's putting it nicely. Those bots. Oh, God. Again, I, I just throw out there. All right, let's pretend like, hypothetically, Harry and Meghan aren't involved in some way with this guy, all right? But let's just pretend. Why associate with this guy? If you're trying to, if you're really the victims you claim you are and you're not going after the royal family like this and you're not anti-Catherine as you've shown yourself to be at every single turn, you and Plastic Face Man and Bozo, then uh, then why associate with the likes of this guy and Plastic Man? Hmm? Can't explain that, can ya? Oh, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I truly do. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for keeping me sane. Let me know your comments on all of this. I, I mean, unbelievable. Awful people, right? Awful. Mm. Harry and Meghan still at it, though. I still put this firmly on them in terms of these are their people doing this crap. So this is on them for not speaking out, right? It's their followers. And I, I lump him right in there, blindly following Hank and Skank, and they're not doing a thing about it. And still no word on the African parks. Disgusting, awful people. Thank you guys for everything. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.